3.5 million years ago, one of the most dangerous creatures to ever live in the ocean went extinct. And I couldn't be more thrilled about it because this thing is f***ing terrifying. What? Welcome back to Life's Biggest Questions, guys. I'm your host, Taylor McWaters, and today we're taking a look at one of the most insane creatures to ever exist. Some people actually still believe that this shark still exists. They're making movies about it, there's sightings, they're finding teeth all over the world. What the f*** is up with the Megalodon shark? Let's dive in. We go back to the first time we discovered the Megalodon, and by we, I mean this man. Louis Agassiz discovered the Megalodon shark for the first time way back in 1843. He was a Swiss-born American naturalist and geologist. He actually achieved wonders with his discoveries on glacier activity and extinct fish. This man was a hustler. So one of those fish being the Megalodon, AKA the tooth shark. So Lewis actually named the shark himself. And yes, it does sound pretty badass on one hand, but on the other, it has meaning to it as well. It is also referred to as the Carcockles Megalodon, which in Greek means famed for jaggedness. Famous for being an absolute unit. It's like Dwayne the Rock Johnson if he was a shark, basically. It's also referred to as the Atodus Megalodon, which in Greek translates to big tooth. It means big tooth. Just a big old tooth, great. Two features you want in something swimming below you in the ocean. Lovely, nothing more comforting. It's Lewis's birthday this Friday, actually, so you better pour one out for him. Or hit that like button. He told me that he likes it when people hit like buttons on his stuff as well. The ghost of him told me. His name choice was pretty accurate. I mean, look at the size of one of these things' teeth. You could scrape ice off your windshield with that. So Megalodon lived everywhere in the world but Antarctica. I mean, it of course favored the warm waters, but thanks to its size, Megalodon is like our great white sharks today partially warm-blooded thanks to the heat that they generate while swimming. Hot or cold, this thing is coming for you. It's coming to bite your toes or just eat you whole. Now, it's kind of hard to imagine how big these things really are, like when you actually think about it. But you get an idea when you see the size of one of their teeth alone. It has the largest teeth of any shark species ever known, obviously, and it comes in at around five inches on average. On average, the tooth is five inches long. The largest ever found was in South Carolina by a man named Vito Bartucci. Poor guy, he probably discovered the fossil and was like, we're screwed. We are absolutely screwed. This is evidence that we're all fucked. The largest tooth ever recorded was seven inches. They've been found throughout our history many times before though. Also, one predicament is actually pretty hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. So Pliny the Elder, sometime around 70 AD, so a long time ago, it was recorded that they thought Megalodon teeth were triangular objects dropped from the sky during a lunar eclipse. That's how unbelievable this thing was as a tooth. They thought it was from the moon. They thought part of the moon fell off and hit the ground. They thought it was a piece of the moon like in Majora's Mask. Even in that game, there was also a Megalodon boss, a giant ass fish that was so scary. So if we're talking about the size of the tooth, you're probably dying to know how big the rest of its body was. The largest recorded Megalodon came in at 59 feet long. And we know that by studying the tooth because, well, obviously sharks don't have bones. They're just cartilage. They're just massive earlobes swimming around. Earlobes with teeth swimming around. That's a nice way to think about sharks. If you're having a hard time understanding how big that really is, like picturing in your head, um, picture a bowling alley because they're about 59 feet long as well. A bowling alley. So next time when you're waiting for the ball to hit the pins, just think to yourself while you're waiting there, shark, shark shark this is how long a shark once was this is how long a shark nice that's massive 59 feet the megalodon had to eat a lot of food it was an apex predator it ate whales dolphins seals cars probably you name it a lot of people consider this a dinosaur and rightfully so <laughs> But dinosaurs and megalodons never existed at the same time. Dinosaurs died about 66 million years ago and megalodons were only around 23 million years ago. Huge gap. I love how I say only as if like, you know, all of eternity ago wasn't that long ago. It wasn't an asteroid that took them out. It was changing ocean currents and the fact that it had to eat 2,500 pounds of fish a day sure didn't help. And it had to go fin to fin with killer whales and great whites. And when they used their size and body warmth to try and evade these other beasts, they went to the Arctic waters, but whale migration met them there eventually. So Hollywood spent $130 million to show you how badass this thing would be if it were alive today. Didn't do too well with the reviews, but Jason Statham and Dwight from The Office were pretty good additions. It also reminded us that 100 million years ago when this thing first came to existence, it wasn't playing around. But the movie did remind us that when this thing did exist, it was probably really loud and scary. 
It didn't look like a great white shark either, despite how many of these monsters look in pop culture. We thought they were related for a while, but with recent studies, turns out they are not related at all. You are not! <laughs> I could see the resemblance, that's for sure. Like this photo, for example. This is from the National Aquarium in Baltimore, and it's a reconstructed megalodon jaw with their mouth nearly 10 feet wide. Yeah, you can stand inside it for a photo. How fun. So where do we find these things? Is it common to find fossils of their teeth, or was that just a one-off? Well, between 2007 and 2009, numerous researchers have collected a number of megalodon teeth off the coast of Panama. A year ago, actually, a woman from South Carolina found a huge tooth coming in at around a one pound. A one a pound. Uh, apparently, I'm f***ing Italian. Coming in at the one a pound. She was super pumped about it as well. She posted the footage of the tooth, even offering advice saying that the Charleston area is great for finding more teeth. That's a pretty odd Facebook status to come across. Like, if you don't know she's talking about sharks, that's a weird... That's a weird thing to scroll by and see. Hey guys, found some teeth off the shore. Great spot, bring some sunscreen, bring the kids. Gonna be a good day. Megalodon teeth have also been found in the UK near Essex, but the teeth there are found pretty rarely and the quality is often poor. Now, when we consider all these facts about the Meg and the fact that more than 80% of the ocean is still yet to be explored, we must end with the burning question, could the Megalodon still exist today? According to Emma Bernard, who curates the National History Museum fossil fish collection, she says no. She says in an interview that despite what Discovery Channel has said in the past, it's definitely not alive in the deep oceans. If an animal as big as Megalodon still lived in the ocean, we would know about it. That statement comforts me and also makes me kind of uneasy. But thanks for clearing it up, Emma. Besides, do you know how much garbage this thing would eat if it still existed today? Like, it needs to eat 2,500 pounds a day to survive. It would do one lap around Camilo Beach in Hawaii and just be dead instantly. Like, we literally have a beach made of plastic and you're thinking that this thing would be alive? No, no chance. Because humans are terrible. All humans except for you because you stuck around and watched this video. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Life's Biggest Questions. I've been your host, Taylor McWaters, and join us next week on What the F Wednesdays. Stay safe. Peace.